Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with a thrift haul. Um, I wasn't sure that I was going to even get a video made. Um, I have been down for the count. I've been out of work for a couple of days with a sinus infection. You can probably still hear it in my voice. I do have in um, like a cough drop. It's like a herbal drop. Um, and I got water nearby in case I have a coughing fit, but, um, I just, I really want to stay on schedule of putting out two videos a week. So I really wanted to get this made. Um, anyway, this was from a couple Saturdays ago. So two weeks ago, today is Saturday the 21st. Oh, this is from Saturday the 7th, I think. So three weeks ago. Eek. Um, let me double check that date that I wrote down. Um, yeah, the 7th. So, well, right, that's two weeks ago. That was two Saturdays ago, not three. No, no need to get upset with myself. All right. <laughs> if you're new here, hi, I am Jennifer. I am a full-time French teacher and a part-time reseller on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Um, and Etsy, I, I opened up my Etsy store. I used to have an Etsy store years back. I opened it back up and I've started listing some of my vintage items over on my Etsy store. Haven't sold anything there yet, but figure it can't hurt more, more eyes on the items, the better, right? Okay. So I went to a thrift store that is local in Richmond, Virginia. It's called Diversity. Diversity does wonderful, wonderful things for the Richmond community, especially the LGBTQ community. A lot of outreach, a lot of support, and a lot of education for people who may not specifically be in the LGBT community, but would, I think I said all the letters, um, but, you know, definitely want to support, want to understand, and so that's why I love supporting diversity so much. Um, and they, they just do great things. Uh, so anyway, every other weekend, they have quarter tag sales where a certain color tag is a quarter. Um, I like going on those weekends. I like going anytime I can because their prices are fantastic. They always have shoes are $4. Um or three pair for ten dollars so that means they're you know 333 a piece one pair is going to be 334 right pants are always 375 or four pair for ten dollars which makes which makes them 250 a piece you those those are the best thrift store prices ever dresses are around seven or eight dollars that's on par with um other places so their their prices i think are good you know you're gonna see some things that you're like oh that's a little high and you know some things that are not but anyway um let's talk about this has never happened to me before and i'm so glad it did <laughs> let me get a drink because i'm about to cough okay boy we're not even three minutes in right or four minutes in um I go in and you hang a right and the there's a clothing room right there as soon as you go in. And I go in and I'm, a lot of times on quarter tag days, they will pull everything that's that color and put it on its own rack. So you don't have to go sifting through rugs and rugs and rugs of clothes. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. It takes away the hunt in a way um, but then it makes it really easy if you want to stick to quarter tag things. So I see the good and the bad in it. Well, anyway, I get to that rack and I'm looking through and somebody came up to me and said, you're a French teacher in VA, aren't you? And I said, yes. And she said, I recognize you from YouTube. Guys, I've never been recognized like that out in public. Somebody seeing my YouTube. I was completely flattered. Absolutely flattered. So um, the person's, I hope she doesn't mind me saying her name. She introduced herself to me. Her name's Addison. She is a reseller and she lives here in Richmond as well. And we talked for a little bit. 
and she just, it was the sweetest thing. Just such a nice, nice person. So Addison, if you are watching, I was so happy that you came up and spoke to me that day. And I hope we run into each other again. So let's get on with this thrift haul um, and see what all I found. Okay, this, um, oh, I was happy to find this. Lily Pulitzer. I think this is called the Cami, C-A-M-I-E, Cami T-shirt dress. And it's got like, I don't even know if these are functional roll tap sleeves. Yeah, they look functional. Guys, I just I just found Lily. <laughs> I, I, I didn't check. I didn't check to see if things worked or not. I found Lily. I was so excited to find Lily Pulitzer because I never, never find Lily Pulitzer. I literally, I have found a scarf and I have found a top. And that's it. In two some years of reselling, that's all I have found. Um, I'm opening up my book because I made notes on sell-through rate and other information that I found. Okay. Lily, where you at? There you are. The Lily Pulitzer. It's Pima Cotton Cami Dress. I don't even know if I showed you guys what size it was. There are 25 listed and three solds. Now, here's the good thing. The 25 listed, none of them are pink. One of the three solds is pink. So maybe I grabbed a color, I found a color that is desirable. Um, but 25 listed, three sold, makes it a 10% sell through rate, not great. That's just on eBay. I didn't look on Poshmark, I didn't look on Mercari. Um, it is a small, and yes, it is 100% Pima cotton. So, hoping that this is a valuable color because of the fact that there are none listed none no pink ones listed and one pink one sold fingers crossed all right that i made a good decision there okay this was one of the quarter tag items yellows were quarter tags and this is cabby one thing I love about Cabby, there is a style number, and I'm telling you, if you go Cabby shirt, style number, blah, 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 and put that in Google, it, it's going to come up. You're going to get stock photos. You're going to get all kinds of things. So this is called, I think this is called the flag shirt. It is navy blue with red and white stripes. Um, Let me double check. Cabby, yes, it's called the striped flag blouse. That's exactly what it's called. Did I check the materials? It should be 100% cotton. It feels like cotton. It is. It is. So, let's talk sell through rate on that one. 20 listed, five sold, 20% sell through rate. So, um, did I write down a price? No, sometimes I'll write down the price range that stuff sells in. Um, but it was a quarter, so I would love to sell it for about 15. Okay, um, very, very sad about this one. I'm, I'm just gonna have to say no and put, you know, put this one down. <laughs> it was a yellow tag, so it was a quarter. Another cabby piece. I almost can't pass up cabby. I just love it all. When I grabbed this, I knew what it was. Um, it is called the, the scarf shirt, the hundred percent silk scarf shirt. Um, the biggest problem, I didn't see it till I got home. How did I miss that? How did I miss that hole? Just, I was excited because I got silk cabby and a hole right there. So this is, I'm not even counting it in my um <clears throat> in my cost of goods like i'm gonna divide everything taking that one out of the equation but keeping the price of it in the quarter that it cost so that i can recoup that mistake through these things okay next yellow quarter tag 
love-hate relationship with J. Jill, me and J. Jill. Um, but I do like the style of this shirt. It has kind of a rounded hem and it's, I don't know if this will show up on camera, but it's kind of like raw looking. It looks like a raw um, ruffle. It's, I know that's not showing up well, but I liked it. It feels like a linen blend. However, the um, fabric tag has been cut out. Now, <clears throat> I did a generic, generic search um, of J. Jill. I think I did put linen blend floral top. That just has a linen feel to it. Mm. And let's see. Jill. Oh, I didn't put anything down. So, I did not check sell through rate on that. What I'm going to do is Google Lens it, see what comes up. And when I'm going to edit this, <laughs> uh, if I find out anything, I will let you all know. Um, let's do this one. <laughs> Um, this is new with tags. Of course, it has a Ross tag. <laughs> so I'll probably take that off and just, you know, I don't think it would matter new with tags or, um, pre-owned. It is a plus size top surplus. So it's got the, the big surplus top. Oh, I said big. The surplus top where it kind of folds over itself and this cute little crochet detail on it. And this, it's not a great brand, Maurice's, but it's a 3X. And I do, I've sold this exact top before in gray. It's like, it was like a grayish green. I just, I have luck selling Maurice's, especially on Mercari. And so, um, you know, knowing that I have a low cost of goods, um, I, I'm fine with, with that. You know, the, the fact that it's not... This one's not going to um, pay all my bills this month, but you know, it's going to sell and it's going to sell for $15 or so. Okay. I got a few more clothing things, but so <clears throat> Addie and I, we talked over by clothes and then we kind of went our own way, um, you know, doing our shopping and things like that. And we ran into each other again in another room that you, you just have no idea how big that thrift store is. Mm. We ran into each other again and she goes, Oh, Hey, do you want this? And she gave me, um, this sweater. She knows how much I love mod cloth and Addie, thank you so much for being so sweet and generous. It's mod cloth and it's a two X. And look at this beautiful sweater. It's a beautiful gray color. Very lightweight. Very, very lightweight. Feels like Italian yarn. I didn't even look to see. But, um, it's probably acrylic. Um, it is. But it is so soft. So, yes, Addison, thank you so much for, um, handing me this sweater because you know that I love mod cloth. Um, that is absolutely gorgeous and I love the way it feels and the way it looks. So that was a mod cloth 3X sweater. Um, and it's part of their line, um, Nostalgic Knits. So they have some sweaters when I typed that in. There are some that have like a real 70s look. They look pretty cool. So, um, you know, there's that one. Um, on Poshmark. So to me, um, sometimes there, you know, there are some brands that sell better on one platform than another. Like I was saying, the Maurice's top, I sell those on, on Mercari pretty well, but on Poshmark, there are none listed, one sold. Um, and it sold for around $20. So that's a no brainer, you know, that means I need to list this on Poshmark. Okay. And thank you again, Addison, for giving me that. Look at this guy. He's an owl. Um, this is Olive the Owl. 
and he is a jelly cat. There's the tag for jelly cat. He, this guy needs a comb. Definitely needs to have his hair brushed. But Olive the Owl, a cute, cute jelly cat. Um, Let me see if I can find him. I wrote him down. Jelly cat, Olive the Owl, seven listed, five sold. That makes it a 41% sell-through rate. And they sell anywhere between $15 and $20. And he was $0.50. Cents. $0.50 cents for this guy. I love it. I love that owl. I um, I collect owls. But I probably don't need another plush. No. I've got a gun to owl. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I didn't know it was going to be this hard to do a video. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not check comps on this, but I was not going to leave this behind. Would you please look at this tie with ostriches? So it's a 100% silk tie. The company is into Africa. I haven't done any research, but I was not going to leave behind a tie that had ostriches on it. So, I don't, I can't, these ties don't sell well for me, but I love this tie. I think ties there are a dollar, so I'm good with that. Um, two belts by the same um, maker, and this is a vintage brand, Jenny Johansson. Um... Anyway, this, oh my gosh, is does that not scream 80s? Look at this woven belt with the seashells in it. And it, you know, it's got the Velcro in the back. Oh my gosh, if this doesn't scream 80s, I don't know what will. So yeah, this, I was like, this belt is everything right now. Another Jenny Johansson. It's woven with some beads in it. Can you say macrame? Um... <laughs> Anyway, and like this, this looks like burlap. It, it's just incredible. This thing is incredible. Um, there's the Made in the USA tag, Jenny Johansson out of Dallas. I don't know. This might be, I guess this was whatever store's price tag. I mean, this is epic. This is just epic. So... He got this great belt. And you can kind of see the cardboard in there. But anyway, 80s. You gotta love it. Um, okay. Well, since these are just sitting on top. Oh, and guys, I with vintage things like that, I don't check sell-through rate. Um, vintage items sit and they are just waiting for the right buyer. Uh, the right person, whoever, to come along and be like, oh my gosh, I need that. So it's really, to me, it's really tough to check comps on vintage items. Now, I could probably run a general search on 80s woven belts, okay, fabric woven belts, and just see, you know, where, you know, where that lies um, but I'll measure it and, um, I will run comps, you know, like that just to see what they're being priced at, what they're being sold at. And yeah, I, you know, I just, I love it. And there may be somebody out there needing to look eighties for whatever reason. And, you know, I got the belt. Hey, I got the belt you need. Okay. So found three of these new in the package now this is a first alert water alarm let you know if there's water um so apparently you place this anywhere a leak may occur i was about to make a inappropriate joke um oh and it gives you ideas okay um, so, 
found three of them. They were three dollars each, and I, I scanned the back. I used my eBay. I hit the scanner and scanned that barcode. Did you know you could do that? Hopefully you did. Um, just to see what they were selling at. Let's talk about what I found out. Um, there are 22 listed and 12 sold, which makes it a 35% sell-through rate. The solds that I found, new and packaged like that, were between $10 and $20 a piece. Here's what I can do and what I plan to do. I'm going to take one picture. Well, a picture of one of those. Front, back. I'm going to list, I'm going to make one listing with three available and price them probably, you know, close to that $20 range, probably price them at $19.90. And I have um, created less work because I can make one listing, but sell three different things if you know, if that makes sense. So that saves you time when you can list, you know, multiple quantities like that. So that's my plan with um, with that. All right, let's take a look at shoes. Like I was saying, shoes are three pair for $10. I always try to get three pair. I like getting that, that deal. Guys, I saw these. I was not, not leaving these in the store. Look at that tartan plaid. Oh my gosh. I um I went to college. I went to college at Radford University. Tartan plaid. I was like, oh no, these are these are going home with me. They don't they don't fit me, but they came home with me. I'll sell these. They are Franco Sarto. I think these would be so cute at Christmas. Don't you? Um Franco Sarto. And they are um, fabric upper, but they're, they have a leather sole and they are called the empire. So that's a cool thing about Franco Sarto. Also, you can find the, um, style name in them. And I mean, they look fantastic. There is barely anywhere on the bottom of these. And this is more than likely patent leather. I'd be willing to say that, that this part is patent leather. But these are just gorgeous. And I paid $3.33 for them. So, okay. Um, let's grab these. A pair of brown loafers. Look at the bottoms. These, if they, I don't think these have ever been worn. I really don't. They still have the Ross tag in them. I'll have to take all that out. But they are Clark's. And they're just, you know, Clark's brown loafers. Clark's is a regular brand for me. I can pick up most Clark's and know that they will sell. Um, and I don't have to worry a whole lot. So they are an eight and a half. They are leather. Clark's makes a, a fantastic shoe and people search it out. But, oh, let's take a look. I, I got way off track. I got all excited about the Franco Sarto. Here's the cool thing about, about these. These right here. Poshmark. Okay, so most of the Franco Sartos I've sold, I've sold on Poshmark. One listed in this pattern. Six sold. They probably sold around Christmas time. So I might be sitting on these until December. Who knows? Anyway, one listed, six sold. Guys, that's an 85% sell-through rate. And they sell anywhere between $20 and $35. I think as new as these look, and the fact that you don't see anywhere, look at that heel cap. There's no unevenness, no heel drag. Most of the wear you see is right here. I think I can list it for $35. Really do. So, the Clarks. Um, I just looked up Clarks Brown Loafers, size 8.5. Um, that's what I looked up because they don't generally have style names or anything. So, <clears throat> 96 listed, 32 sold. That makes it a 25% sell-through rate. They sell around $25 a pair. 
I hopefully, you know, eight and a half, great size. And the fact that I think these are brand new. I don't think they've ever been worn. So, last pair of shoes. I never find vintage shoes. But would you look at these beauties? I think these are the cutest shoes. Do I have them right? Yes, I do. Um, like this, this pump. Black on the front, white on the back, black heel. And when I felt them, I was like, oh, that feels like butter. Oh my gosh. And it's Diego de la Valle. De la, Diego de la Valle. That's the way I'm saying it. Um, made in Italy. And I did look it up and it said that these, you know, all, everything I saw on these are saying they're vintage. So apparently they, they've got this strap and then this strap that goes up and around your ankle. I'll have to look and see how you're supposed to wear these. They're are seven and a half. They are leather. So, um, I just thought these were so cute. Almost reminds me of a Cuban heel. I'm going to have to check. All right. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research. But I love, I love the way these are. Um, so, three listed, one sold, makes it a 25% sell-through rate on eBay. But who knows? Those, since they're vintage, maybe they do better on Etsy. Maybe they do better on Poshmark. I did not check those, but I loved, loved those. Okay, let's do, okay, which ones are these? I think I know. Okay, so now we got pants. Pants, I do try to do the four pair for $10 so that I can get them for $2.50 a piece instead of $3.75 a piece. These are cabby. You see, I can't turn down cabby. Cabby skinny, size four. It's got this, this print on it. Kind of a, yeah, they're skinny. Definitely a skinny. I, probably a mid rise. Or they might be low. I think they're a mid. I think they're a mid. But anyway, cabby, um, they are. The Ditsy Skinny, that's what they're called, the Ditsy Skinny. I I looked uh, size specific. I looked specifically for size four. 38 listed, three sold. <sighs> not great. That's only a 7% sell-through rate. However, I did not check Poshmark. Again, I have better luck selling cabbie on Poshmark than I do on eBay. So, it'll get in front of as many eyes as possible. Okay. Next, oh my gosh, I never find this brand. I'm telling, I don't, I have clothes in this brand. I don't give those up. I love them, but this is Loft Plus. Um, These are just a blue dress pant, size 24. It's called the Marissa Skinny. Let me see, okay. They feel brand new and they are just a navy blue like dress pant. They have a whole pleat down the bottom. Um, yes, I think so. Yes, they do. They got like a whole, not a pleat, but almost like a, a hem thing down the bottom. I forget what that's called. It's got a name. It's got a name. But the fact that they are a 24, a plus size, is great. Loft plus is hard to find. So, Loft Plus, um, 19 listed, 9 sold, 32% sell-through rate. They sell around the $15 range. So, um, knowing that I paid $2.50 for it, turning $2.50 into $15, I am okay with that. All right, and then we've got another pair of, like, printed pants. <laughs> These are... Cabby, you see, I have a hard time. Found all the cabby in this trip. Size six. Size six. Um, these are called the Twilight Camo. Twilight Camo is what that is called. 
and 12 listed, two sold, which makes it a 14% sell through rate. They sell on eBay, they sell around $20 to $24 a pair. Again, I did not check um, Poshmark. Last pair of pants. There are two other things I got. They are for me. I'll show them to you, but yeah, I, I am um, curious about this one. Chico's design, to me, that looks like a vintage tag. And it says that it is, oh, okay, I'm reading it now. 64% silk, 34% linen, 2% other fiber. So that's some great fabric. And it's a size three in Chico's. Fantastic. Pull on pants. They're just kind of a flowy pant. And you can see they're almost like a brocade. They have like this tribal print embossed on it. it. These are so cool. These are the coolest pants. I don't know how well it is showing up on on the camera, but I see like trees and animals and people. They're so interesting. They're kind of a straight leg, I would say, but they, they just look like they would be loose and flowy and wonderful. Um, so yeah, let me see what I found on those. Chico's Design Silk Linen, size three, 13 listed, two sold, the two sold, sold in the, the $24, $25 range. That is a 13% sell-through rate. Um, so, I, yeah, I just really liked those. That's a great fabric. And I think, I think those will sell. I, th I don't think I'll have any problem with it. Um, I got myself a big, thick eyeglass case. Um, I just got new glasses and they also come with sunglasses that clip onto them and night driving glasses that clip onto them. Yay for old age. I need night driving things now. Um, but anyway, I wanted a thicker case that I could fit all, everything in. The glasses, the every the everything. Okay, so um, I, I got this for myself. So, and then I, I got some parchment paper for a dollar. I, um, as a teacher, I print certificates and things like that. So it's always good to have some fancy paper around to be able to print cool stuff like that. So that was my haul. I spent a total of $49.29. Um, taking out the damaged cabby top, taking out these two things. I'm taking that entire amount though, that $49.29 and dividing it by 17 items. Um, and that makes everything average out to $2.90 per item. So I think I will do okay. I think I'll do just fine. So the, the vintage things I may be sitting on for a little while, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, but I'm, I'm excited and I was, it was a fun day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I still have, uh, I don't need to be shopping anymore. Let me just say that. I don't need to be thrifting or sourcing at all. I've got plenty to list and not enough time to list at all. But if you enjoyed this video, would you please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel as I try to grow my YouTube channel. If there is anything you learned watching this today, let me know down in the comments below and give me your opinion on the 80s belts. Will they sell? Will they not? Should I? Let's say this. Tell me this. Should I lot them up? I don't even know if they're the same size, you guys. I mean, they're kind of, they're kind of one size since it's, since it's Velcro and you can go, you know, all the way in. Should I lock them up and sell them together as a set or as a lot? Or should I sell them separate? So 
Let me know down in the comments. What should I do with these 80s belts? All right. Until the next video, I will say a tout à l'heure. See you later.